So welcome to 25 Days of Tax Fridays edition 3. This is day 9. Let's get started. So day 9 says single month with highest sales. With single month, I mean, I want to have the month that has the highest sales. And with month, I mean month year. But I just want to have the month part. Okay. So single month, we are going to have uh, from the calendar, year month. Otherwise, we're going to get a completely entire different thing. And then we're going to have sales, total sales. And then if I sort by sales, I will see that April was the month to have the highest sales. It was in April 1998. Okay. How do we do this in DAX? We go to day nine, evaluate. And now we're going to do summarize. We're going to summarize the calendar where we put calendar year month and then calendar month name because what we want is actually the month name and then we're going to add the sales column which is going to be total sales after discount run and here we have the same table that we created before if we actually sort sales descending we will see that again april is the month to have so the only thing that we need is to create the final measure so go here new measure day nine we're gonna tab this because first we need to have the top in one and then we need to have it based on sales descending that will give us the first row. And then if we tap again, we can concatenate in the case that there will be more than one month. We know that it's just one, but just to practice. So the expression that we want is month name. The delimiter we want is that one. And then we want to sort by month name ascending. And this should give us April. And there we have it.